On February 4th, personnel of 1st Fighter Wing of Langley Air Force Base in Virginia, USA was busy in loading missiles onto one of the most potent stealth fighter aircraft, F-22 Raptor. Mission commander instructed top gun pilot of F-22 to lock AM-9X Sidewinder to the target. It was a shoot to kill mission. The green signal came from none other than the President Joe Biden. Target was a Chinese spy balloon that had intruded into air defense identification zone of United States of America, impinging on its sovereignty. The spy eyes were on minute men, ICBMs, silos at Malmstrom AFB, Montana, under control, Air Force Global Strike Command, the Chinese fears most. Raptor took off from the base. Within minutes, F-22 had eye on the target. It locked the target and gazed the balloon from an altitude of 58,000 feet. The target balloon was at a height of 62,000 feet around. Within seconds, target was blown off. There were hands clapping in command center. Balloon may have busted, but Chinese were thumping their chest with pride. They had demonstrated the capability to intrude into world's most powerful nation and their arch rival. Spy undetected for days, mission accomplished, a mission that was started 9 years ago in 2014 and the green signal was from none other than the Chinese President Xi Jinping and mission commander was this man who Chinese President was holding hand for not a second, minute but forever. He was for a future national hero, a Chinese spy that stole critical technology from United States for the Chinese movement in future to realize the Chinese dreams of Xi Jinping, the top spy who convinced Chinese leadership future is now. US Federal Bureau of Investigation had registered a case against this Chinese spy way back in 2010, but he managed to steal technology that makes an object invisible at least to microwave. It was not the first time Chinese spy balloon were spotted. This time too, the balloon was spotted not by the US military, but by civilians as it flew over Kansas and Missouri. But this balloon seems to be acting differently to previous ones. US officials say it is appearing to hang out for a longer period of time, this time around, and is more persistent than in previous instances. That would be one distinguishing factor reason for persistent hovering and longer haul that it doesn't just a weather balloon gathering meteorological research data but it was high altitude airship a lighter than high altitude platform HAP that can be steered loiter at 20 to 25 km height that is around 65,000 feet height far higher than a commercial airliner can fly but too low than a closest Satellite can monitor its target only from an altitude between 165 to 2000 km. The Chinese spy could make platform that can surveil US nuclear ICBMs from height but FBI could not glean evidences to catch this potential suspect. FBI would let off Chinese spy and case was closed forever. But we see future is now. The spy helped China to take its ground military station to sky at a 65,000 feet and achieve not only intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance mission, but achieve what a military base can, a Chinese military base can, dragon spy in a sky. Before we move further and reveal the mystery of invisible clock airship, let's have a look at the itinerary of Chinese spy balloon. It started on Saturday, January 28th. The balloon entered American airspace, flying in around the south southern tip of Alaska. It then crossed north of the Aleutian Islands and over the state's mainland. At this point, US officials had not publicly acknowledged the balloon or its presence in the United States of America. Thereafter, on Monday, that is January 30th, the balloon entered Canadian airspace. After this, the next sighting was on Tuesday, that is January 31st. The balloon floated back into US airspace over northern Idaho. US officials considered shooting it down. The Washington Post reported 
but planners couldn't mitigate the risk of people on the ground though it is sparsely populated some five people per one kilometer on wednesday february 1 first the balloon flew over montana near malmstrom air force base home to several nuclear missile silos it was spotted by civilians and recorded by chase dog who captured on video from his driveway what he later described as a big round disk in the sky around 5:30 pm billings logan international airport temporarily shut down over the balloon grounding several flights that was the action immediately taken after the civilian sighting thursday february 2nd us official disclosed to the public that the balloon had been flying over the mainland united states for several days brigadier general patrick ryder a pentagon spokesperson told reporters it was traveling at an altitude well above commercial commercial airline traffic and does not present military or physical threat to people on the ground this was to mitigate the panic which general public can had on friday that is february 3rd the balloon was spotted by civilians as it flew over kansas and missouri china's foreign ministry said in a statement that the airship was a weather balloon that had strayed from its intended course into the united states due to the influence of westerly winds and its limited control capacity adding that china china regrets that the airship strayed into the united states by mistake that was a chinese statement uh, that came after secretary uh, blinken postponed his visit to beijing hours before he was uh, scheduled to depart telling china's foreign affairs chief that the surveillance balloon had undermined the purpose of the trip according to state department spokesperson nat prince so this was the development which was happening and in response a spokesperson for the chinese foreign ministry accused some politicians and media organizations of having hyped the incident to smear china china always level smear campaign allegations against media the north american aerospace defense command said on friday that it was tracking a balloon in canada that was thought to be of chinese origin another chinese spy balloon was also spotted over latin america on friday and that was the confirmation by none other than the pentagon the department of defense of the united states on february 4th that is saturday the us military shot down the balloon as it hovered over the atlantic ocean of the south carolina coast using a missile fired from an f22 raptor fighter jet the balloon had been flying over 60 to 65000 feet height the federal aviation administration ordered ground stops for flights in parts of north carolina and south carolina shortly before the shooting down the balloon it was very necessary to halt all flights operations the same day united states officials disclosed that the balloon's path had taken it over several us installed military installations the washington post the newspaper reported that the administration had taken steps to stop it from collecting information that could undermine us national security chinese spy balloon episode was now taking us china cold war to a next level prc has been denying it being a spy balloon and us now making efforts to gather evidences from salvaged balloon let's have some important statement made by chinese foreign ministry before we nail the fact that a nation chinese have been working its arc rival america to bring it to its knees by stealing its own technology so that is the revelation which is about to come but first the statement the foreign ministry of prc issues a statement on us claim of downing a chinese unmanned airship on 2023 uh, that is 5th may that china strongly disapproves of the protest against the us attack on a civilian unmanned airship by force the chinese side has after verification repeatedly informed the us side of the civilian nature of the airship and conveyed that its entry into the us due to force measure was totally unexpected the chinese side had clearly asked the us side to properly handle the matter in a calm 
professional and restrained manner. The spokesperson of the US Department of Defense also noted that the balloon does not present a military or physical threat to people on the ground. Under such circumstances, the US use of force is a clear overreaction and a serious violation of international practice. China will resolutely safeguard the legitimate rights and interests of the company concerned and reserves the right to make further responses if necessary. This was the statement. But on a day before, on 4th, the foreign ministry spokesperson made remarks on U.S. announcement of the postponement of the postponement of the Secretary of State Blinken's uh, visit to China, quote, regarding the unintended entry of a Chinese unmanned airship into a U.S. airspace due to force measure, the Chinese side has verified it and communicated it to the U.S. side. It is a civilian airship used for research, mainly meteorological purposes, affected by the westerlies and with limited self-steering capability. The airship deviated far from its planned course and is entirely an unexpected situation caused by force measure and the facts are very clear. China always acts in strict accordance with international law and respects the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the countries. We have no intention to violate and has never violated the territory of airspace of any sovereign country. Some politicians and media in the US have hyped it up to attack and smear China. The Chinese side is firmly opposed to that. Unquote. Maintaining, then again quote, Maintaining contact and communication at all levels is an important common understanding reached by the Chinese and US presidents at their meeting in Bali. One of the tasks of the diplomatic team on both sides is to properly manage bilateral relations, particularly to manage some unexpected situations in a cool-headed and prudent manner. In fact, Neither side has ever announced that there would be a visit. It is a matter for the US to make its last latest announcement and we respect that. This is what the Chinese foreign ministry spokesperson issued in a statement. Spying is mainstay of Chinese unrestricted warfare. Chinese want reunification of Republic of China that is the Taiwan. But United States of America had to defend Taiwan through U.S.-Taiwan Relationship Act in case PRC tries unification militarily. Waging war against Taiwan would mean U.S. military intervention and there is a possibility of crossing the nuclear threshold. To contain United States of America or to defend Chinese mainland against nuclear ICBMs, Chinese resort to spying. It is not just the ISR missions, the Chinese spy balloon or to say high altitude airship HAA can carry but the worrisome part for US national security agencies is that it can carry a capsule having humans on board that can work as Chinese military station. If not now, then in future but the latest incident established that future is now. So the future is now means Guangxi in Chinese language. Guangxi Sciences was established by none other than that Chinese spy who FBI was investigating way back in 2010. But by then, the Chinese spy had left US territory and returned to Chinese mainland. The name of this Chinese spy is Dr. Liu Rupang. Now he is better known as Elon Musk of China. This is the spy man behind China's most talked about spy mission in US, the Chinese spy balloon mission. Dr. Liu, the Chinese spy who promoted and worked for China's Plan 111 and himself joined Thousand Talents program of China, also passed crucial technological data and provided access to America's Duke's lab to researchers at Southeast University in Nanjing. Remember Nanjing. Since its founding, Guangxi has remained heavily involved in People's Republic of China, military production, leveraging the invisibility clock that could mask microwaves from cell phones and antenna. In China, Liu is called as a sea turtle or haigui as Chinese students and professionals who have lived, worked 
and gained experience overseas are called. Dr. Liu famous as a doctorate student at uh, Duke University, North Carolina that is not far from the South Carolina coast where the Chinese spy balloon blasted off was founded by none other than the US funded by none other than the US uh, Air Force uh, while he was working on a disruptive future technology of invisibility clock. He got prominence for his work on the invisibility clock, a type of material using camouflage technology that manipulates light and makes the wearer seem invisible. The Chinese spy balloon or the high altitude airship which Chinese termed a weather balloon was developed by none other than Dr. Liu Rupang's Kuang Chi Group. The airship is better known as Traveller in China. The Traveller airship balloon was made of that invisibility clock meta material that technology Chinese spy stole from America's Duke University and brought to Kuang Chai Sciences which he founded. After this while he has support of People's Liberation Army and General Secretary of Chinese Communist Party President Xi Jinping who wants to realize Chinese dreams with such spy tax. This is very important. President Xi Jinping met this Chinese spy way back in 2014. The US military sources confirmed that the balloon spotted in the US is of 40 cubic meters and can fly from China to the US and only the US and China had the technical capability to build this kind of balloon which can be directionally controlled. Traveller can fly in low earth orbit LEO where there is no wind, no snow, no lightning. Technology made Traveller to go undetected. Why did the US administration, particularly State Department and Pentagon took time to shoot it down? That is the main question. Perhaps because they were trying to extract data which Traveller airship might have gathered over time. Because US Space Force Aerospace Force and US Air Force had a difficult task to electronically jam the signals and systems on board like high resolution cameras, synthetic aperture radar, etc. A high altitude airship used for such purposes is generally known to have countermeasure systems against radio frequency attacks. Sources say US Space Force was in play that could have neutralized the RF countermeasure systems of the Traveller airship and extracted all the data that could have been in the process of returning to the Chinese base stations via connecting satellites. The airship was however sending some data in real time also. US sources say that immediate steps protected against the balloon's collection of sensitive information mitigating its intelligence value to the People's Republic of China. In addition, shooting the balloon down could enable the US to recover sensitive TRC equipment. And they are in the process. The Navy is working. The Coast Guard is working in that respect. So what is this spy monster which Dr. Liu Rupang uh, created? The spy dragon travel weighs more than one ton after being filled with helium or nitrogen and had a diameter of 38.2 meters. That is exactly about the size of three school buses confirmed by US agencies. It can reach elevation of 24 kilometers in air. It can collect meteorological and oceanic data. Quanchi Sciences has received several orders, many from New Zealand, given as soon as the airship was produced around 2014-2015. It works as a satellite as it can fly at a height of 24 kilometers. As it flies closer to ground, it can collect more accurate data. It costs one-tenth of a satellite that provides similar services. Quanchi Sciences works on platforms that operate in near space, meaning the region of Earth's atmosphere that lies between 20 to 100 kilometers above sea level where temperature around 56 60 uh, uh, degrees centigrade the space is higher than the height reached by commercial airliners but it is still below than orbiting satellites the traveler airship or its other version cloud can carry military payloads that can work both as a low earth orbit military base or as a satellite that could be used for surveillance and data collection since Dr. Liu Ryupang stolen meta material technology from USA, it is of significant worry to US military and national security agencies as military payload capsule carrying humans 
or simply a cave-in can go undetected as it could be made of metamaterial. Releasing such metamaterial capsule from balloon or airdropping a military base station right in US territory is not a science fiction. Remember, US agencies could track balloon physically only when it was flagged on social media with locations. Heat-seeking AIM-9X sidewind missile could have been used using a F-22 Raptor fighter jet only when all of balloons IR and RF systems were jammed electronically as experts say. No one was sure about the profile of the threat Chinese spy balloon was carrying. After judging technically, electronically and perhaps physically with human naked eyes from a distance perhaps, the US agencies decided to confirm option of shooting it down before the President Joe Biden, who asked Secretary of State Antony Blinken to cancel his China visit amid the balloon crisis. USA once again proved its technology and military might by shooting down the Chinese spy balloon. But the technology and military platforms which Chinese spy developed for People's Liberation Army could continue to give US agencies sleepless nights in future. The future is now. The classification of China in US military parlance still continues as adversary rather than enemy even while Chinese have reached its doorsteps, provoking its military to fight with Chinese spy Sky Dragon on its own territory. That is what Chinese do, the unrestricted warfare. Thanks for watching. If you like the story, please do subscribe, press bell icon. National Defense is free for all and does not take any monetary support from any company, agency, individual or government. It is sustained with sweat and hard work of its founder, me, Shailesh Kumar, thanks for watching indeed. Jai Hind, Bande Matram, Namaskar.